Hello, my name is Mike the Mighty, and thank you for watching my video. Today we're actually going to be looking at how you can remove the defiance bar for creatures and how you can do that with the engineer. Now the engineer has access to a huge variety of kits and different skills so this will take some time to actually go through because obviously you have things like the special skill uh, and that can actually do some damage itself and, and remove all the defiance bar. So let's go and actually have a look. One good thing about the engineer is they don't actually have too many weapon skills. Uh, we actually do have the hammer equipped. Uh, we don't actually have a hammer on me right now. But uh, one thing you can actually tell that this en this engineer is not really my uh, scrapper because obviously we have the elite skills now. Um, so let's actually have a look at some of the different weapons that we actually have access to. So with the pistol, you've got the blindness, which, uh, which is a small CC, so nothing really with the pistol. The pistol offhand, though, does have a glue shot available, and so it can do a little bit of CC. With the rifle, you do actually have access to overcharged shot, which is, again, something uh, that will give you a fair amount of uh, defiance bar removal. Jump shot isn't too bad, but you do get with net shot and immobilize as well. So a couple of different CC skills. Uh, with the shield as well, you actually can have some different uh, CC skills. So we've got a few offhand different skills, and let's actually have a look at them right now. So we've got the pistol. Let's actually go in and just show you how much you can remove with the skill 5. You'll see there it immobilizes and it's not being too much done. So not really that effective. Um, we can go in and look at the kits a little bit later. But uh, we actually look at the other weapons that we have available. Let's equip something else. Let's equip the rifle. So we'll wait till we get out of combat. This is almost done. So there we go. We are going to be out of combat. Uh, we actually do have the shield. I want to quickly show you. You've got the shield here, which is a knockback. So you've got this four, and then you've got to release it, and then it does the knockback. Uh, with the skill five, if they do touch you, they are dazed, but then you release it as well, and it throws them and does another day. So it's very, very good as well. So let's go on to the rifle quickly, because everybody loves the rifle. So here's the rifle. We're going to go and use the defiance bar. So it's already, we're, another guy's already fighting him. Uh, we're just going to show you with the skill four, which is a big knockback. Let's see how much we can actually do right now. Uh, we'll try and use the skill two as well. So there we go. Let's you in with skill four. Skill four destroyed almost half of his uh, defiance bar there. Uh, we also use the skill two, the immobilize. You can see it's done a lot as well. Uh, we're going to get out of there now. Um, one thing I will go through right now is that you've got this big old bomb which comes with the bomb kit. Now the bomb kit we'll look at, we'd actually get uh, burning, the confusion, it's the smoke bomb. But the glue bomb's the one you want as he decides to kill me. Fantastic. Which you actually get access, again grappling line is a defiance bar removal skill. Uh, and you also have the booby trap. Booby trap doesn't mount as well, obviously they have to be pretty close to you to do that. But watch me now do the skill 2. You can see that that does a lot to remove the defiance bar. So we're going to pop along and come back again. I'm not too fussed about dying, to be honest, when showing you these guides. Uh, but this, if we actually access the, the bomb kit, we get access to an immobilizer as well. You've already seen how much how effective the immobilizer is, and I'm going the wrong way. Uh, but blind, uh, blind from the smoke bomb does a little bit as well. But the big old bomb, that's a big launch. That does a lot of damage to the defiance bar. So what we're going to try and do, we'll come in with glue bomb, and then we'll go in with the big old bomb as well and see what that does. The thing is about the big old bomb, it is a timer, so it does actually take a couple of seconds to activate, so that's something you should be aware of. When you look at the grenade kit quickly, uh, nothing really apart from the chill with freeze grenade, but the rest don't really do too much. Uh, let's actually look at the elixir gun. The elixir gun, when we equip that, the he healing mist doesn't do too much. You've got the cripple with glob shots, and you've that's pretty much it for the elixir gun. Flamethrower, you do have a blind. You've also got the air blast, which is a knockback. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and use this in conjunction with the bomb kit uh, and see how we go. Uh, the supply crate, which is also elite, you can see that I've got equipped, is also a two-second stun. One thing you do actually have, you've got uh, tornado. That is a big skill. We've already covered that as an elementalist, so I don't really want to go into it too much. So you can see here, a lot of people are actually around here. This hopefully will give us a chance to remove the defiance bar effectively. Uh, we will remove the uh, the the, equip, uh, the kit that we have equipped. So here we go. We're going to use the knockback. There we go. Oh, I've missed it because <laughs> he rolled me over. Brilliant. Uh, let's go in with a big old bomb. So we we'll use the uh, uh, glue, the uh, glue shot. 
And you can see the immobilize we've got going on there. He's already his CC bar has been broken. So let's actually get ready for the next stage. What we're going to go in, let's try and get the air blast going and try and show you some direct. Now obviously, I'm not going to be able to show you as effectively when there's multiple people around. But we'll go in. We've used our air blast. Let's use. Oh, well, he's already down. He's already lost his CC already. Uh, his defiance bar's gone. So you can see how quickly he ha he's losing health when you destroy his defiance bar. Uh, when we equip toolkit, there are a few other things. You've got magnet here, and you've also got a couple of small CCs. But let's actually watch with magnet, and we pull him, so we do some damage there. And when he stops rolling, we'll go in with the big old bomb. So there's our F3, and let's see what happens there. You can see there is big stun. You didn't actually uh, get an idea of how much defiance bar that removes because he was already pretty low. Uh, you've got again throw wrench, which can do some damage. But again, let's go in and we'll show you with the overcharged shots. There you go, a huge amount of damage. And he's already looked, two, two people have managed to remove his Defiance Bar. Very, very effective. And it means that he will become more vulnerable and you're, you can a, able to kill him better. Uh, anything else that you've actually got here? Nothing really. You do have a, a, a racial trait, which is Techno Babble, which is, again is a three second days. I will show you this because I haven't covered the racial traits before. Uh, there isn't anything else. Uh, you've got battering ram, which again is pretty effective. We're going to go equip that, and then we have slick shoes, the biggest defiance bar removal that you can actually have. Uh, you will actually. I mean, the, the engineer actually has a huge amount of defiance bar removal, in multiple skills. So here we go. We're going to activate it again. Here he is, and we'll use techno babble. So you can see he's already lost half. Let's use the battering ram. Boom! He's already, he's down again. Uh, one thing we do actually have, we've got confusion. Oh, and he's really got me low on health. So we're going to use supply crate. Let's see how much that does. Almost a full, uh, almost half a percentage. So let's go. We're going to go uh, F4, which we actually got super speed. I didn't really want to use it at that particular time because I wanted to show you super speed in conjunction with slick shoes. It's a very effective combo. Uh, people that actually do it on Gorse of Wars engineers can remove the defiance bar almost by themselves. Now you're gonna see me, there you go, with the downstate skills I was able to break his defiance bar. So we're gonna go back to the waypoint. Again, I, I'm not focused, worried about dying too much. I'm doing this for your effective, for your actual viewing pleasure. So we've shown you some of these other skills. Uh, there isn't really too many of the, the actual uh, elixirs that do anything. So here we go, he's got a full defiance bar. We're gonna use F4, and then we're gonna use slick shoes, and there you go, he's already down. So you can do a huge amount, which Slick Shoes does a huge amount of defiance bar removal. So this is, in my opinion, the biggest way to remove the defiance bar of any particular enemy. So again, we'll use our rifle shot, you can see there. Now we're going to go throw mine. It's coming towards us. Boom, he's got another bit. This defiance bar's gone. Uh, let's go with the battering ram again. Boom. Okay, a little bit more again. So we're getting a lot of the defiance bar, but again, he kills me. He's a pretty tanky, a pretty uh, heavy, hard-hitting guy. Um, but yeah, th these are the skills that, as an engineer, you have access to. So using that super speed, which is your function skill, whatever you want to equip it, and then hitting the elixir shoes, running in a circle, because of the dependent on the size of the hitbox, will determine how much defiance bar you can actually remove. So you can see here we've got covered through different uh, some of these uh, different kits. Um, we've actually covered all of these, and then we come on to the turrets. Now the turrets are an interesting one. Um, the flame doesn't do too much, but you can actually trait them to explode, and when they explode, they do a knockback. But I'm not going to use that because of, you know, that's kind of cheating, but that is a trait that you can have access to. So again, we'll use the, the defiance bar removal there. Let's actually go with the thumper turret. Let's see what that does. If we can try and get into coming towards us. There you go. You can see it's done a huge amount. And if we were to blow it up, it would have done more. Let's go with the net turret. And let's see how much that does. You can see again, it's doing a lot because it will continue to remove the defiance bar. So the net turret is something very effective as well. And you can see here that it's doing a lot of damage to its defiance bar. So that is the engineer in its main form. Let's actually have a look at the engineer regarding scrap up abilities. So if you choose to actually take the elite specialization, what do we get from that? So let's actually go for scrapper. 
and we'll just pick the random bottom ones. So, uh, we've actually got the kit there, let's remove that. So the healing kit, you actually get a, a gyro which you can detonate, and let's see what, when you detonate, it actually does a daze, a one second daze, so it actually is something you can, it's traded for, uh, you can actually daze with a healing skill, which is kind of rare. Uh, again, you've got like the gyros, so let's actually have a look at this, you've got the blast gyro tag, you've got uh, purge gyro, and also the uh, shredder gyro. The stealth gyro we actually get here as well, but the gyros can explode. So let's actually have a look again. Um, we're going to equip these. We've got 20 seconds to do it, so we're going to wait till we get to the 50%. Going to go in, and then we're going to go and blow up all our gyros. So you can see here, all of them do a day. So here we go. We're going to go in, and boom, boom. So we already have one blow up, the blast, uh, uh, blast gyro. Let's get a bit closer. Unfortunately, he's already the, uh, he destroyed the other gyro. So um, the, the gyros can do a bit of CC removal. You have to be in close to do so. Um, but let's look at the blast gyro tag again. So what I do is when the defiance bar comes up, we will launch that. So here we go. And now, so we'll fire that. It'll go towards it. And it does a huge amount of the defiance removal. Really effective, that blast gyro. And so again, the engineer has access to a huge amount of different defiance removal skills. So what about the hammer? Well, the hammer I don't actually have on my character, so we're going to actually look at the hammer skills here. Uh, the positive strike you've got, that doesn't do too much to the defiance, but neither does Electro well. Uh, dash forward with uh, the rocket charge is pretty cool, but no damage to the defiance bar. Uh, neither does shock shield. However, Thunderclap does. Thunderclap is an effective stun and uh, very, very good at removing the defiance bar. Hell, I've been taken out a lot of times in <laughs> PvP by that particular skill. So the Engineer has access to a wide variety of different defiance bar and CC skills and is one of the greatest, uh, you know, effective, uh, greatest professions uh, removing the defiance bar along with perhaps the revenant uh, and it's the particular skill again if we actually have a look the slick shoes for those of you wondering what the slick shoes might look like without the enemy this is what it actually looks like you can run around in a circle and hopefully the enemy will be in that hitbox there again to, in conjunction what you want to use is the super speed because for five seconds you'll be able to run around and you can run around at a greater speed quickly removing the defiance bar so that is all that the skill will be used for, removing that defiance bar, making them vulnerable, uh, and is a crucial needed, crucially needed in raids, the engineer, along with certain other defiance bar skills. Hopefully, you know, the engineer is a tough class to learn. It's very, very complex, got a lot of things going on, uh, and hopefully this video will actually give you a little bit of tips on how to improve that and how to actually use these skills for, uh, in a different variety. If any other engineers out there have any suggestions or, or any comments, please leave them in the section below. I don't claim to be an expert with the engineer. Uh, even though I've played engineer a lot in PvP, I don't particularly tend to use the scrapper section or the scrapper build. So please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.